while Samara is playing in the water. Oh my gosh, she's completely soaked. <laughs> and I don't have a towel or extra clothes. That's okay. We've done this before. I just wanted to talk a little bit about what happened in OT. Um, she actually got pretty calmed down by the time we went in the room. Um, but she was, she was kind of, she definitely needed more sensory input. And we do this in a little tiny room at this particular place, which is always really a struggle for her. Um, and that may be why she, she wanted to go to the other place so badly because maybe she was just needing a little more sensory input today and, and needed to do like some jumping and running and have some impact. Um, she's definitely showing that now. But one of the things that I always promise her <clears throat> is at the end of every session, she'll get to do the gym if she um, does, you know, she's not, basically she's not a pain in the butt about doing the work. <clears throat> and how much of that she understands, I don't know. Hi, higher. Okay. Just keep pushing the button. And today she, with the exception of um, wanting to hesitate on her My Choice choice, they use a, they have something called the Choice Works app. <clears throat> and in that app, it's just a digital list of everything that they're gonna do for the session. And she gets to, to um, slide it over when they're done. And then there's a little timer that says how long they're gonna do um, something that they call My Choice. And that was something that I had kind of requested because in her other agency that she's been to for so long, it's more child-led and she's free to explore and it's a little more our style, honestly. But she did incorporate that My Choice section of the list and there's a timer on there. I think she gets two minutes or three minutes of My Choice and she picks, it's not really her choice because they're in a tiny room and she just brings in two toys and Samara does not get to choose them. She just gets to choose between the two toys that are in the room. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, I know. Um, but she gets to choose between those two things to do in between what they're working on, whether it's scissor work or handwriting or whatever. So today, we didn't get to handwriting. And um, she did, they did have a little bit of a, I don't wanna say a war, but she kept touching stop on the timer when she had her first My Choice. <laughs> and I went over and we had already done cutting and she had her little troll and I, and I just said, troll wants to, you know, touch the play and, or something like that. And troll went over and did it and then she was fine. And it really <clears throat> didn't take up a bunch of extra time. I have no way to make it higher, sweetie. Anyway, she maybe wasted like a minute of time for that. And so we did scissors, she did my choice, and then we did um, opening containers, which I brought that little carton that I showed you, which I really didn't know anything about it. And I'm gonna show it to you too. I wanted to, to show that to you as well. Kind of a little product review, I guess, in the, in the process. And um, that, turned out to be more than I thought it was because I just thought she would open the container and there would just be a little figure in there or something. But it was more like LOL surprise. We opened that up and here I'll show it to you. So we opened the box. I don't have the box anymore and she ripped it open really easily. I don't know if that's because she's getting so strong or if it was a flimsy box, but she, she ripped it right open. On the inside was this container, which has one of these lovely, um, hard to get open, uh, plastic seals. So that was really good practice um, opening that. And then inside that, this was actually buried inside there. There's Play-Doh that she had. It's fairly soft Play-Doh. She had to dig that out. That took some time, quite a bit of time. And then she dug out this item and then the figure in here. And it's a little cat with a hair dryer. And then there was also inside there, I think this was, yeah, it was in the Play-Doh, I think, on top, because it's got Play-Doh on it. Um, what's to say? I are just a fluff. It's kind of cute. And um, the, the carton said lost kitties on it. So I guess that maybe they're mimicking a milk carton, how they have lost kids on milk cartons. I'm not really sure what the whole thing is behind that product. But it turned out to be quite a good um, thing for practicing 
strengthening hands. So if you're looking for something like that to take to a therapy session to make it more fun, or you want something for your kids to do at home, that was a really good one. And I picked it up at GameStop. I think they were five bucks. So one of the things I tell her about you know, each session is she does her work basically and she gets to go to the gym. Well, because that took so much time, we didn't get to handwriting. And I don't know if she didn't really see, you know, being in the session, you know, being involved in it. She wasn't able to sit back like I was and really see what was taking up all the time. But really that project took an excessive amount of time and she, as far as I'm concerned, she participated in everything just fine. And what was left on the list was my choice and writing and then gym time. And she said, well, we didn't have time to, for writing. And so I think we'll just end with my choice. And I said, well, can we, can we just end with the gym? Cause that's what's really motivating for her. And she's like, well, I guess. And she didn't seem very happy about it. And I told her when we got to the gym, I just wanted her to be able to do my choice because that's really motivating for her. And she said, well, you're working on these things at home? You know, like giving her something to work for, like do homework and then get something. And I said, I really don't want to bribe her to do homework because I really don't feel like bribing kids to do education is functional. I mean, the, the thing you get out of learning something is the fact that you learn something. And I know that might seem a little weird because I'm already buying things to make the OT sessions more fun, but I think that's different. Um, having a tool that's more engaging, that's not the same as saying, oh, if you do your homework or you do writing, we're gonna get to go do something that's completely unrelated. I don't agree with that or, you know, it just doesn't, it just doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't make any sense. So I was a little frustrated about that today, but baby steps, I guess. This is one of those days when I'm just like, you know, I could really do all this myself. And we are already, we're already doing this at home. She's lately, she's just been grabbing the scissors and cutting open everything. I mean, everything she's supposed to, but compared to like even a month ago, when just asking her to get the scissors, just made her go ah, scissors 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 and start chanting because she didn't want to use scissors now she's comfortable with scissors and she's going to town on scissors and she can tear paper she can tear open granola bar wrappers she can tear open all kinds of stuff and obviously little tiny milk cartons with kitties in them so i think she's doing really well handwriting is still hard it's still challenging but we're gonna get there and you just can't rush this stuff you know it's they're not on a predetermined timeline. And people need to, to realize that kids just learn things on their own time. That's what I think. That's my opinion. Here's another jet. <laughs> but yeah, I felt like in the end of that, that she, she maybe thought that Samara wasted some time somewhere and I didn't really see that or that she didn't deserve the gym time and was using that as a punishment. And I'm not taking her there or compliance and that sounds weird this is why we don't put our kids in school <laughs> and this is why we unschool in time she will learn the consequences of the things that she does right now she is seven years old on the outside maybe like depending on the area you know anywhere from age four <laughs> to, to seven depending on what the topic is she still has to learn, you know, emotional regulation. She still is learning co-regulation. You know, it's getting much better. She's still learning to reference other adults. In those areas, she so, you know, needs so much work. I, I just don't think all of the expectations always line up. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but. She is soaking wet. As soon as we're done here, we're gonna go home and get her dry and enjoy the rest of the, uh, the enjoy the rest of the day. So thanks for joining me today. I hope that you got something out of this. As always, uh, don't forget to uh, like, 
and subscribed and hit the bell for notifications if you want to get notified when I get uploads. Otherwise, if you subscribe and you don't hit the bell, I might be uploading all the time and you won't see it. I'm gonna try and upload more. And then that way you guys can get to know Samara better and to know me better and, and maybe Matt, although he's a little camera shy. <laughs> She's having so much fun. So anyway, we will see you next time. You have a great day.